<clears throat> My name is Dr. Alyssa Ferry and I'm a lecturer at the University of Manchester. I study language acquisition in babies primarily uh, during the first year of life, so from the time they're born up until the time they're about one year old. And I study um, mostly things like word learning, how they learn new words, how they learn patterns and regularities in language. Um, so in my research, I study infants who are uh, usually less than a year, so at this point they're not really talking. So we have to figure out other ways to figure out what they know about their language. One way that we can do that is using what's called electroencephalogram, which is where you put a hat like this on the baby's head. It's made up of electrodes, and what they do is they measure uh, brain activity from the scalp uh, that tells us a little bit about what's going on in the brain um, as the infant is listening to, to language. So when we use EEG, what we're actually doing is we have 128 electrodes that just measure changes in the electrical potential on the scalp. And so what's really neat is that in the brain, um, there are about 85 billion neurons and they all communicate with, you, with each other using electricity. So they make teeny tiny changes in the, the electrical field when they fire. So we can measure these teeny tiny changes across the entire head that tell us what's going on in the brain. Um, so, in fact, we can actually use this to test babies and try and figure out how babies' brains are working and processing language. We have caps like these that are designed for babies, so they're much smaller, uh, and they allow us to just put it on the baby's head, and we can easily measure their, their brain activity as they listen to language. So the way that we can use this with infants, um, one way that I've used it is we try to use it to figure out what babies know about language. So for example, what kind of words do they know? So do they know anything about uh, what words actually mean? So what you do in this kind of test is you have the baby wear it in the hat, you put them in front of a, a TV screen, and you show them a picture. And sometimes the picture has the same, is, is the correct label. So if you show them a picture of an apple, and you, you say, look, an apple, you get a very particular kind of brainwave. But if you show them a picture of an apple and you say, look, a cat, that's incorrect, there's a very particular response in the brain when something is, is incorrect. So when it doesn't match, you get a very, very big response in the brain. And so what we do is we can use this on babies and we see if they show this big response when the word is incorrect, it tells us they know that it's wrong and what the correct, the correct version actually is. So whether or not they show this differential response tells us if they actually know the words. So this can tell us quite a bit about what infants know about language and what words actually mean well before they can begin to say them. Yeah, I've <laughs> never given a video interview before. <laughs> Okay, you know they have all these outtakes in movies and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay. My name is Dr. Alyssa Ferry. I'm a lecturer at the University of Manchester. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, that's it. Perfect. What was the question? Can we use it to test babies? <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <what you> <laughs> I know you talked about being small. Remember that part? Yes.